I just filmed this entire video with the camera facing the wrong way. I film on my iPhone. I don't have a viewfinder. I just assumed that everything was going hunky-dory. Apparently it was not. So this is take two. Let's not waste any time. Let me talk about some of the things that I have picked up recently. Let's start with a Bath and Body product. I really enjoy these Tree Hut, um, what are these, these sugar scrubs. Now I picked them up recently during an Ulta sale. This is in the shade, not shade. It's not shades, Katie. I'm so used to talking about makeup that I say shades. In the fragrance Tropic Glow, and I also picked it up in the fragrance of Coco Colada. Now, if you have been living under a rock, you would not know that this um, Tropic Glow scent is supposed to be a pretty close dupe for the Brazilian Boom Boom scent. And I would say that, I wouldn't say it's exact, but it's close enough that I can justify purchasing this body scrub for $10 more than like, I wanna say the like one from Sol de Janeiro is around 40 some odd dollars. Don't do that. Just get this body scrub. This is great for this time of year, especially if you are somebody who needs to exfoliate before applying a self tanner. Pick this one up. In that same vein here, um, I have always loved these Tree Hut, um, their shaving oils, and they have also released it now in the Tropic Glow. I've always used the Coconut Lime, but since they came out with this scent, I decided to pick this up for the summertime. So I'm excited to actually start using this probably in my next shower because I just finished up the Coconut Lime. I picked up a new blush from MAC. I actually picked up two shades of this blush. This is the Go Play, yeah, no, Glow Play Blush. Now this is in the shade Heat Index. Now I still have the swatch on because like I said, I already filmed this video. This is in the shade Heat Index and I love this. I know it is bright, it is kind of scary. It's a beautiful peachy pink on the cheeks and the stain power is amazing. I typically have blush, no, I typically have cheeks that swallow blush up throughout the day. Like it typically does not last on me. This one lasts really well. Now the other shade that I picked up was So Natural and that one is going back to MAC because it just doesn't show up well on my skin tone. The formula is good, it's just the shade is not right for my skin tone. So I would say that if you are light medium or darker complexion, that shade, don't buy it because it won't show up on your skin tone. Um, also going back to MAC is the much hyped MAC Stack Mascara. It smudges on my brow bones and so for me, I don't care how it makes my lashes look. If a mascara smudges, it's out of here. Another product that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, this is the 24 Hour Brow Setter. I've been using this brow gel for probably like four years now. I really like it. It holds my brows in place. It is like, it's glue pretty much, but like I can move my brows and it's not too crunchy. So um, I picked up a backup of this. One tube of this will usually last me at least six months. I picked up, let's see, another backup of the Elta MD, the AM Therapy. I won't go into detail because I already talked about this in my skincare video. I also picked up um, a UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41. Um, I believe it was Skin Store just recently had Elta MD for 20% off. So anytime they run that sale, that's usually when I will stock up on my sunscreen. That is my Holy, Holy Grail sunscreen. I did pick up a new Elta MD product to try though. It is the Foaming Facial Cleanser. I actually picked this up in like a duo pack. So I've been using it and I haven't had any breakouts. I have um, come to the conclusion that most Elta MD products work well for me because they are formulated for very sensitive skin. So um, it does the job, cleans my skin well. This is part of my double cleanse. I always use my Clinique Take the Day Off first and then I go in with this, um, especially at nighttime, but I have also been using it in the morning and no breakouts, no fragrance. So it's been a good product for me. I picked up the Physician's Formula. This is their, what is this? Their translucent, it's, it's their airbrushing pressed powder. Now the reason I picked this up is because there is no talc in it and it also contains SPF 30 of mineral sunscreen. So we should be applying our sunscreen or like we should be applying it every day, but we should also be reapplying it, which to be very honest, 100%, I am not very good at that. Oh my goodness. The male lady just dropped off a package and it scared the daylights out of me that not. Ah, sorry if it scared you too. If you saw my eyes bulge at that moment, that's why. Um, Anyways, going back to this powder, I do like it. I do believe that it's not truly translucent. So if you are of a deeper complexion, then I would say 
even like a medium tone, probably not this one because um, it doesn't really quite show translucent and probably because the sunscreen is mineral based. It does give a little bit of that um, white cast to it, but not like a horrible white cast. Nothing that would keep me from using it, but if you have a darker skin tone, um, it just may not flatter your tone as well. Another powder that I picked up, which has been well-loved for many people for many years, um, well-loved for many people, by many people for many years. You can tell I'm trying to speed right through this because my son is going to be home in about 30 minutes and I just wanna make sure that I get this all filmed um, before he gets home. Um, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade two medium. Now this does have talc in it and I know if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that talc and I typically do not get along. However, I am finding that as long as I don't wear it every single day, my skin seems to be able to tolerate it okay. So um, I did um, use this product quite a bit over the last two weeks and I have not had any issues with it. Um, it does deliver on its promise to give you kind of that airbrush effect. Um, I don't have super large pores, but it does just give a smooth, even finish um, when I set my foundation with it. I've really been liking it. And also the reason that I wanted to try it was to be able to compare it to the dupe, which I've heard is the number seven Lift and Luminate. I wanted to have familiarity with the real deal. So that way I could possibly um, confirm or deny uh, possible dupes when they are suggested for you. Another product that I picked up was, um, I restocked the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I've already talked about my love for that. And because I love that product so much, I decided to pick up the Soft Lacquer Heat Styling Spray. Now I am somebody, my hair is very fine. It doesn't like to hold curls. So when I curl it, not only do I want that heat protection, but I want something that's going to help hold the style in place. And so I use this, I spray it on each portion, then go in with my iron and um, it just helps give hold and heat protection. Then I will go in and spray my dry texture spray at the very end. I've really been liking that product. In fact, that is something that I would probably repurchase. I would say that it's bumped um, my R & Co. They, they have like a fierce one, which I've also liked that product, but this one's kind of like working its way above that one really like that product and i was going to tell you that when i purchased that they gave me like a gift with purchase which is um the orbe cote de Zora. i guess that's like the fragrance name a soap um a replenishing body wash and um, a restorative body cream i always like to hold on to these especially for when i'm traveling because um then i don't have to rely on like decanting things into travel size or whatnot i just hold on to them and travel with them so i'm excited to use that it smells really good it's that signature orbe scent that everybody raves about I picked up a recommendation that Mrs. Melissa M has been raving about these um, for a while. It is the LA Girl, the Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. Now this I picked up because I recently purchased the Dior Forever Matte in the shade two and a half. And it is the perfect shade for like a day like today. I'm actually wearing it today when I just applied self tanner last night. So my tan is very fresh, but as it fades throughout the week and quite frankly, I get a, bit, a little bit lazy and then I don't reapply. Um, I'm just not as dark as I was. And so this is great because then I can mix it in to make my summer shades last a little bit longer. So I'm really excited about those. My experience so far is that it does not change the consistency of my foundation and you can really adjust it. So like if I really need to lighten up the foundation, I can add like a whole pump. But if I just need a little bit, I'll just do half a pump, squirt it onto the back of my hand. I am the person that puts foundation on the back of my hand and then I put my brush in and put it all over my face. So I've really been liking those. And I think it was around like $5, like pretty expensive. And I feel like that's a way to um, get the most out of your more pricey foundations. Or even if you have a drugstore foundation that you love, pick those up. I picked up during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I know that during my last haul, a lot of things that I had purchased didn't necessarily come in yet. So I picked up um, another one of these Buxom lip polishes. Between these and the City Beauty, these are my favorite lip gloss formula. And of course, I picked this one up in the shade Katie. Why not, right? That's my name, as the uh, channel name would imply. 
my name is Katie, if you are new here. And um, I really like this gloss. Now I am a gloss girl. Um, my lips, I don't like a matte finish on my lips. That's great if it works for you, but I am 37 years old. I don't have any fillers in my lips. And so there are some natural lines that occur there and um, a matte finish just is not the most flattering look for me. So I always top my lipsticks off with a gloss and I've really been liking that one. I am wearing it today on top of another product that I just recently hauled. This is the BK Beauty lipstick in the shade Acceptance. Now this is very pretty. I have it on my lips today. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it underneath that blush shade. So there it is. Now this is more of a satin finish. I have owned their lip liners for, gosh, since they released them. I wanna say that was almost a year ago. I don't know, my concept of time could be all off, but I really like their lip liners. I own all four of the lip liners and their staying power and their um, application, like their ease of application is so good. So I really wanted to give the lipstick a try. And so right now they are running a 20% off sale through May 8th um, as part of their Mother's Day sale. And so I picked up a new lipstick and I also picked up a couple of new brushes. Um, for my collection. I picked up the 108, which is perfect for highlight or under eye setting powder. I picked up the 205. Now this is like an angled crease brush. I feel like this is really good for like outer, outer V work. I picked up, what is this? The 204, this is their smudger brush, which I like to go underneath my eye when I apply my makeup under there to just give that smudgy, smoky look to it. I picked up the 206, yes, the 206. This is nice for like um, an all over shadow brush, especially if you have more real estate to work with on your eyes. If you have smaller lids, I would recommend the 203. It's a similar brush shape, but it's a little bit smaller. Um, let's see, and then what is this? Is this their 208, their 208? This is like an angled brush. This is perfect for a winged liner. And if you are somebody that likes to use your shadow to give winged liner or you use a gel liner, or you can even go in on your pencil and then apply it that way, this is a great product. And probably the star of the show, which is something that they recently did, was um, there has been the Angie Hot and Flashy set available, but just recently they um, made those brushes available for single purchase. And so I jumped at the chance to pick up the Angie Hot and Flashy the A506, this is the concealer brush that everybody has been raving about. I use a very thick and emollient under eye concealer. I like the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So I need a brush that is just going to seamlessly blend it out and this brush does that job. I really, really like it. Whew. You guys, because I've already filmed this, I feel like I'm starting to run out of breath and I'm really sorry. Um, but I'm really trying to get through this video quickly for my time's sake and yours. Uh, the next thing that I picked up, this is the Ulta Beauty. This is the Velour um, like self tanning mint. Mine looks dirty because I just used it last night and I haven't washed it yet. But this is perfect if you use a mousse for applying your self tanner. You want one of these because it just gives a smooth, even finish. And it's also easy to just throw in the wash to clean. Really like that. I actually own two of them. So um, I would highly recommend those. And they're pretty inexpensive. They're under like $10. So um, they are a necessary component to my self tanning routine. I picked up a new blush bronzer. Uh, this was a limited edition release by Bare Minerals last year and it was so popular that they decided to bring it back. Now this is the Bare Minerals bronzer. This is so pretty. Now let me see if I can open it up. This is in the shade Kiss of Rose. Now I have seen a lot of people um, swatch, I think it's a like Kiss of Pink and Kiss of Copper. This is their deepest shade, but I'm gonna show you. There is like a mauve tone to this. So it's gonna be the very top swatch here. I'm sorry, it's competing with other swatches. And it is beautiful on though. I will insert a picture right here of my daughter wearing it last week. She had her little spring dance and so we got her all gussied up. And this shade was just beautiful. I took that picture during golden hour and it just applies beautifully. It provides that gorgeous beachy, like sun-kissed type of look. This is a great product to have for when you are looking for just kind of a, I don't wanna say no makeup makeup, but you just want that sun-kissed bronzy type of look for the summertime. And I am really glad that I picked that up and I'm actually thinking of picking it up in the Kiss of Pink because I've seen other um, YouTubers rave about that and seen them swatch it and I'm like, oh yeah, I think I would like that one too. 
The Pharmacy Honey Halo has been my go-to nighttime moisturizer, but during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, they had this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter on like 50%, you know, I want to say clearance, it's not clearance, 50% off. And this is unscented and this is very thick. I have been using this for about the last week since my other product ran out. I am typically that way when it comes to skincare. I will wait until the product I'm currently using runs out before I try something new because I don't like to use a bunch of new skincare um, as it can really like throw my skin off and make it break out and go wild. So I waited until my pharmacy was ran, was ran out. Wow, wow, Katie. Nobody can tell that you graduated magna cum laude with that type of grammar. Um, this product is very thick. It is great for nighttime. Now, if you have dry skin, you might like it for daytime use. It's a little bit too moisturizing for daytime use for me. My skin is normal to leaning a little bit oily, but I've really been liking this. It says it's unscented. I can smell a little bit of that argan oil, but I've really been liking this product. I got another box of these Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I know that I've talked about these before. Um, these have been, I don't wanna say lifesavers, that's a little bit dramatic, um, but these have helped my puffy under eyes out a lot. I am not somebody who typically suffers from like horrible seasonal allergies, but we have a lot of the Palo Verde trees around us are blooming and that pollen right now is driving my eyes nuts. I don't really notice it so much during the day, but when I wake up in the morning, I've got these bags, I've got dark circles. These really help depuff and moisturize and just kind of wake up your eyes. So I've really been liking these. I always pick them up when they go on sale at Derm Store or Skin Store. Um, typically during their like 20 to 25% off sale, I will pick those up. What else do I have here? Oh, I picked up a couple of new fragrances. So I have been purchasing Dossier perfumes for a while. If you are not familiar with Dossier, they are basically a dupe fragrance house. They say that they are inspired by um, certain popular fragrances and they are cruelty free, which is great if that is something that is important to you. I know that some people really want to try out some of these like really raved about fragrances, but then they're not from a cruelty free brand. And if you are committed to that, then that can be a stumbling block for you. So Dossier is a cruelty free brand that um, also produces these scents in minimal packaging and a much lower price point. So I just recently picked up five fragrances for like $110. Yeah, I mean like one of these fragrances alone sometimes can be double or triple that price. I've had the dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the one for, um, what is it? Um, I wanted to say Whispers by the Library, Whispers in the Library. I wish they would come up with that one because I love that fragrance. It's um, by the Fireplace, the replica by the Fireplace. I have their dupe for that. And then also the one for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So I thought, well, I'm gonna pick up some summer fragrances from them. So the first one that I picked up is the Floral Marshmallow. This is inspired by the Killian Love Don't Be Shy Eau de Parfum. Um, I think it was Lisa Lisa D1 who said that this is the um, scent that Rihanna wears. I'm not your pop culture queen. I, I really don't keep up with that kind of stuff. But the notes on this are Marshmallow, Neroli, Bergamot, Middle notes, orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, orris, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. This is really good. I wore it yesterday. It smells like a blend of that orange and marshmallow. That's kind of like what I pick up from it. Um, but I picked up my daughter from school and she was like, ooh, you smell really good. I like that one. So I'm excited to have that. The other fragrance I picked up was Woody Sage. Now this is inspired by Joe Malone's um, what is this? The Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've had that in a sample before and while I like the fragrance, Jo Malone fragrances don't really last a long time on my skin. I constantly have to reapply. So I was glad to pick up this dupe for it. The notes on this, the top notes are fig tree, grapefruit, middle notes of marine notes, ambre, base notes, clary sage, amber wood. This is like a unisex scent. Um, a man or woman could wear this one but it's also not heavy. Um, I feel like it's a good light scent for the summertime. And then the other fragrance that I picked up was Floral Pear. This is also another fragrance that's inspired by Jo Malone. This is the English Pear and Freesia dupe. The top notes are pear, bergamot, watermelon, rhubarb, middle notes, quince, rose, freesia, orange blossom, base notes, woody notes, musk, amber. I'm wearing this one today. Now this one is slightly heavier than those other two ones, but I do still really like it. 
Um, I also picked up the dupe for the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, but I believe that I'm gonna send that one back. I just don't really care for that fragrance too much. And then I picked up the dupe for the Dior Sauvage. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Savage, Sauvage, I don't know. Um, my husband's gotten a sample of that and I really like how that smells on him, so I'm gonna give that to him for Father's Day. He doesn't watch any of my videos, so he won't know. All right, what else do I have here? Oh, I picked up two eyeshadow palettes. I picked up the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. Now this is not a new palette. This has been around for over a year, I think. Um, but I saw Marnie Goldberg, Gold, Marnie Goldberg using that. I'm sorry, she does not deserve to have her name butchered like that. Um, this is beautiful. I think especially if you have, um, brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. I feel like this color story would work well with any eye color. Um, it's more neutral rosy. In fact, I find this more neutral rosy than the one that everybody's talking about lately. That Patrick Ta palette is very warm toned. It's not as rosy as it comes off on camera. Um, this is slightly warm too, but it's very pretty and I've really been enjoying it. Um, now I will say that I use a glitter glue with those shimmer shades, just not because there's a lot of fallout with it, but because I feel like it makes the pigment of those shimmers pop a little bit more. So because I was so satisfied with that purchase, I thought, well, let me pick up the sister to this. Um, and it is Too Faced's most recent palette, I believe. It is the Born This Way, the Sunset Stripped palette. Now that light might be reflecting on there. Now this is slightly warmer tones than that other one. In fact, let me try to hold them up like side by side or whatever for you. So this is the, let me get the handle on it here, Katie. Okay, this is the Natural Nudes palette and then this is the Sunset Stripped. So you can see the one on, on the right, which would be your left, is a little bit more bronzy, warmer tones, whereas this is more like rosy tones to it. But I think that they complement each other well. The one thing that I will say about this new Sunset Stripped palette is that the smell on it, I hate it. Like, I really hate it. I wish Too Faced would stop putting fragrance in their palettes. I know some people love it, but I hate it. Um, the, the peach one smelled okay, but this one, I don't like the way it smells. It reminds me of like cheap sunscreen that went bad or something like in the early 90s. I don't know. I, I just don't really like it, but the color story on here, I am really liking. Two more eye products that I picked up are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. Now, I have never tried these before, and since I recently picked up the e.l.f. sticks, I wanted to have something to compare them to. Um, one shade is a shade that's been around for a while. It is the shade Burnished Bronze. Now, I am also wearing this on my eyes today, but I will go ahead and try to... I am not the queen of swatching, you guys. I look like a kindergartner do that because I just did it with my left hand. Um, but it's kind of this plummy bronze shade. It's really pretty. Um, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. And then I combined it with, I believe this might be a limited edition. This is in the shade Kiss From A Rose. And this is kind of a beautiful lilac pink type of shade. It's really pretty. I could pair this with like a purple or a brown or, um, I typically like shades like this because it brings out the green in my hazel brown eyes. And so I've really been enjoying those. I picked up a backup of um, one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Lancome Idol. It was on sale during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for 50% off. So I definitely got a backup of that. My teenage daughter also loves that mascara. So anytime I see it go on sale, I pick it up. If you are new here and haven't seen some of my previous videos, I have talked about that mascara held up so well for me last summer when I was at Disney World in August. No smudging, no budging. I mean, and if anything can hold up in Florida humidity in early August, that's a winner in my book. Talking about mascara, I got this Sephora Lash Stash To Go set. Now this is $29 and you get five minis in here. Plus, if you like any of these, there is a coupon in here that you can take into Sephora to redeem for a free full size of any one of these five mascaras. So it has Lancome Doll, it has Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, the Rare Beauty Mascara, which I wore for the first time today. So the jury's still out on that one. It went on nicely, um, but I'm always waiting to see if it will smudge. 
the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Now, three of these mascaras I have tried before. Obviously, I like Edol. Um, I love what Bad Gal Bang does for my lashes. However, it smudges on me, so that is likely one that I will gift to somebody else. Um, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes has been around for a long time. That's a good old reliable. Um, so I'm excited to try these other two. Um, but these are great sets. I always say to pick these up, especially at here at the end of the year, end of the school year. If you're looking for teacher gifts or if you have a grad um, that you know, this would make a really great gift because let's face it, like for me, I throw out my mascaras every three months just because I don't really want to get like eye infections or anything. Um, so really minis are kind of the way to go for me. Um, very rarely do I use like an entire full size tube. So I love these little sets. You can also break them up and give them to individuals, you know, like my daughter, she's a teenager. And so sometimes I like to buy these because at 13, um, those girls are starting to wear a little bit of makeup and they feel kind of bougie if they get like a high end mascara, um, included in like a little gift for them. So I really like this. And the fact that they throw in that coupon for a free full size one pretty much makes this like an incredible value in my opinion. Another um, value set that I picked up from Sephora recently was this foundation sampler. Now this is $10. I picked this one up in the light medium, and this is essentially, how many foundations do they give me here? One, two, three, four different type of, no, five. Yeah, five different foundations to try out, and they give me about three different shades in each one, so they included the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way, which I know that that's not a new product, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, and then they also gave me like the Laura Mercier, what is this one? Their Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and then also, this one is the one that I was excited to pick up. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I went to dinner a couple of weeks ago with some of our friends, and um, my friend was wearing this, and her skin, she's beautiful to begin with, but her skin just looked gorgeous. And I was looking at her like, what are you wearing on your face? What's your foundation? You have to let me know. And she said that she was wearing this. So um, she said that she wears this like as like a first step and then she applies her foundation over it, but it was beautiful. So I am not typically somebody who is a skin tint person. So I like being able to try these out in sample form without having to go and purchase them because I like the idea of them, but ultimately I am somebody who really likes a more medium to full coverage, um, especially when I'm on camera. But I thought that these would be fun to try out and I'm well aware that I could just go to Sephora and get samples. However, my nearest Sephora is an hour away from me and with gas prices being the way that they are, it's actually probably just more economical for me to pay the $10 for this. So they actually have this available in a bunch of different like shade ranges. I think they have like fair, light, light, medium, medium, like they had it all the way to deep. So um, this is probably a way if you have been eyeballing any of these foundations, you might want to look into this. It's only $10 and they include a coupon in here for $10 off. If you like any of these $10 off the full size product. So again, another great value sticking with the great values. And this is going to be my final product that I talk about. This is the Sephora Vacay All Day Set. Now, I know that I mentioned in my Sephora haul that I picked this up, but it had not yet arrived at the time that I was filming that. And this is an amazing value. So this retails for $44. I picked it up during the sale, so I got a discount on top of that. But first of all, everything comes in this cute little mesh bag, which I am all about the mesh bags, especially if I'm going to the beach or even to the pool. It just keeps things, like, I just feel like it's easier to keep clean. I don't know. I'm a clean freak, you guys. So I'm always looking for like, is that going to stay clean? Um, anyways, it came with quite a few products in here. So it comes with the Summer Fridays Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. Now this smells like natural coconut. I know some of the reviews say that it smells like Play-Doh. I don't think it smells like Play-Doh. Um, it smells really good. I'm smelling the thing like you, I can smell it, but I have the thing open a little bit. Oh, that's really good. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Body Shop coconut scent. So if you're familiar with that one, that's what it smells like. It's not like a fruity coconut. Um, it's more of like a natural coconut smell. That is really good. 
Um, they gave you like, um, is this like a travel size of the Moroccan oil hydrating styling cream? Honestly, I like things like this because I have so much hair product and because I only wash my hair twice a week, it's going to take me a while to get through this. Um, but this is like a hydrating styling cream. I used it last night. It smells really good. My hair feels good. So I like that. They gave me a full size of um, the Tarte Sea Surfer Curl. I shouldn't say they gave me, I purchased this and then like it, you know, was included in there. The Tarte Sea Surfer Curl Mascara. I used this last year and um, it's a good product. It really does hold your curl well, doesn't have any kind of smudging issues. Um, so that's a good product. They gave a full size of the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I have always been loyal to the It Cosmetics um, Confidence in an Eye Cream, so, um, but I need to try other ones, and so I'm excited to have something else to try. And again, like a product like this, you always need to use such minimal amounts of eye cream that I feel like this is gonna go a long ways. They gave a mini of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Now, my skin can only tolerate niacinamide in very small doses, so I use this twice a week in the evening, and so far, so good. I haven't had any problems with it. Now, this product is well-loved. It is not a product that works well for me, and it's not really because it's like this brand. It's just in general, this like category of primers doesn't work well for me. This is the Milk Hydro Grip um, Primer, and this is like a travel size of it. So um, I know a lot of people like that. I got the Isle of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Drops. Now last year, I got an even smaller bottle of this in one of those sets and it lasted me all summer. So I'm really excited to have this. Now I don't use this on my body. I know that you can. I personally use this in my face moisturizer at night when I use my self tanner. Um, and then I'll apply it like every other night to just kind of keep that glow going. Um, but I really like this product. Um, it, now it does have that little self tanner smell. I, honestly, I feel like anytime you use a self tanner at some point as it develops, you're going to get that smell to you go shower, get over it. It'll be fine, you know? But um, in terms of like, this doesn't make me look orange, so I really like it. And let's see, there is the Ilia Blue Light Mist. It's supposed to hydrate, set, and protect. It's a little mini of this. This I will probably use for travel. It does not hold a candle to my Charlotte Tilbury. I don't think any setting spray does. Um, but when I travel, I don't want to lose my Charlotte Tilbury, so I would probably bring this with me. It does smell a little bit like I'm spraying Windex on my face. I don't know why. And it's funny because Ilia is a clean brand, so I don't know why it smells that way, but it just does to me. Um, let's see, a mini of the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I know that this is a holy grail item for a lot of people. This is probably something I'll keep in my purse or um, just like our swim bag or something. My kids in the summertime, they are outside so much that I always like to have um, a sunscreen on hand to just throw on their face when we're going to the park or um, yeah, anything like that, which frankly, we don't have many more park days left. Um, I live in Arizona, if you are new. It's a little toasty here. We pretty much, if you're outside in the summer, you are in the pool or you are insane. That is pretty much my philosophy. Um, let's see, is there anything more in that bag? Oh, there is one more thing that came with that is the Tower 28, um, their lip jelly in the shade Coconut. I believe my daughter may have swiped that from me because I cannot find it, um, but that is also in a full size. So I feel like for $44, that is a great value. I am looking around here and I am done and I am out of breath. That was a lot to talk about. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you like hauls or you like beauty content, or even if you like home fragrance content, I share that on the weekends, please hit that subscribe button and hang around here with me. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will alert you when I upload new content. I typically aim to do that two to three times a week. Um, it just depends on what my schedule looks like. Once again, I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. If you have some extra time, YouTube should be suggesting some other videos of mine for you to watch. But if you don't have the time right now, that's totally fine too. I'm out of breath. <sighs> thank you so much for spending your time here with me. I know I've already said that, but really, truly, I do appreciate it. And um, until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.